The Journey of Islam in Vietnam, a tapestry of trade, culture, and faith Islam reached Vietnam through various historical interactions and migrations, influenced by trade and maritime routes. The Cham people, an ethnic minority in Vietnam, play a significant role in the spread of Islam. The Cham Kingdom, known as Champa, had strong maritime trade links with other Islamic regions, which facilitated the introduction of Islam to Vietnam. Arab, Persian, and Indian traders brought Islam to Southeast Asia, including Vietnam, as early as the 7th century. The coastal regions, particularly in southern Vietnam, became points of interaction. Over time, Muslim communities, including Cham and Malay people, settled in Vietnam, further establishing Islamic practices and communities. The Cham people are central to the history of Islam in Vietnam. The Cham Kingdom, which existed from the 2nd century to the 19th century, was located in what is now central and southern Vietnam. As skilled seafarers, the Cham engaged in extensive trade with other parts of Southeast Asia, as well as with the Indian subcontinent and the Middle East. These trade connections facilitated cultural and religious exchanges, and Islam began to take root among the Cham people. By the 9th century, there were significant Muslim communities within the Cham population. The process of Islamization among the Cham was gradual and involved both peaceful trade interactions and occasional conflict. By the 15th century, Islam had become a major religion among the Cham, particularly in the southern regions of their kingdom. Muslims in Vietnam practice Islam by adhering to the core tenets of the faith, including the five pillars of Islam, Shahada, faith, Salah, prayer, Zakat, charity, Saum, fasting during Ramadan, and Hajj, pilgrimage to Mecca. They gather in mosques for daily prayers and Friday congregational prayers. Prominent mosques in Vietnam include the Al-Rahim Mosque and Jamiul Muslimin Mosque in Ho Chi Minh City, which serve as important centers for the Muslim community. Islamic festivals such as Eid al-Fitr, which marks the end of Ramadan, and Eid al-Adha, which commemorates Ibrahim's willingness to sacrifice his son as an act of obedience to God, are observed with great reverence. Religious education is an essential aspect of Islamic practice in Vietnam. Muslim children attend Quranic schools where they learn to read and recite the Quran, as well as study Islamic theology, history, and law. These schools play a crucial role in preserving the Islamic identity of the community. Community activities and charitable work are also significant. Muslims in Vietnam often organize events and initiatives to support the less fortunate, in line with the Islamic principle of zakat. These activities not only strengthen the community, but also foster goodwill with the broader Vietnamese society. Muslims constitute a small minority in Vietnam, making up approximately 0.1% of the total population. The majority of Vietnamese people practice Buddhism, with smaller communities adhering to other religions, including Christianity and traditional Vietnamese beliefs. Despite their small numbers, Muslims have managed to maintain their religious and cultural identity over the centuries. This has been possible through a combination of community cohesion, religious education, and cultural preservation efforts. The majority of Muslims in Vietnam belong to the Sunni sect. The Cham Muslims in particular are predominantly Sunni, following the Shafi'i school of jurisprudence. There are also a small number of Shia Muslims and members of other Islamic sects, but they constitute a very minor proportion of the Muslim population. The Sunni Cham Muslims have historically been well integrated into Vietnamese society while maintaining their distinct religious and cultural identity. They have their own mosques, religious schools, and cultural institutions that help preserve their traditions. In recent years, there have been several notable developments within the Muslim community in Vietnam. Efforts to preserve and promote Cham Muslim culture and heritage have increased. This includes the construction and renovation of mosques, the promotion of the Cham language, and the celebration of traditional Cham festivals.
These efforts are often supported by both the community and the Vietnamese government, which recognizes the importance of cultural diversity. Interfaith dialogue has also become more prominent. There have been initiatives to promote understanding and cooperation between Muslims and other religious communities in Vietnam. These efforts aim to foster peaceful coexistence and mutual respect among different religious groups. Interfaith dialogue events often involve discussions on common values, social issues, and ways to work together for the betterment of society. The economic and social integration of Muslim communities, particularly the Cham, has seen significant progress. Cham Muslims are increasingly participating in broader Vietnamese society, engaging in various economic activities, pursuing higher education, and taking on roles in public service. This integration is facilitated by the fact that the Cham have a long history in Vietnam and are recognized as one of the country's 54 ethnic groups. The Vietnamese government has shown support for the preservation of Cham culture and the integration of Cham Muslims into society. This support includes policies aimed at improving the living standards of ethnic minorities, promoting cultural diversity, and ensuring equal opportunities for all citizens. The government's efforts are complemented by the work of non-governmental organizations and community groups that focus on the development and welfare of the Cham and other minority communities. Despite these positive developments, the Muslim community in Vietnam still faces challenges. These include issues related to economic disparities, limited access to education in some areas, and the need for greater representation in political and social spheres. However, the resilience and strong sense of community among Vietnamese Muslims, along with supportive policies, contribute to ongoing progress. The Cham Muslims' history and their current practices reflect a unique blend of cultural heritage and religious devotion. They continue to uphold their traditions while adapting to modern Vietnamese society. The presence of mosques, religious schools, and cultural institutions ensures that Islamic teachings and Cham cultural values are passed down to future generations. In conclusion, the history of Islam in Vietnam is a testament to the enduring legacy of the Cham people and their interactions with the broader Islamic world. From its introduction through trade and migration to its current practice and cultural preservation, Islam in Vietnam represents a small but vibrant part of the country's diverse religious landscape. The ongoing efforts to promote interfaith dialogue, cultural preservation, and social integration highlight the dynamic and evolving nature of the Muslim community in Vietnam. Despite being a small minority, Muslims in Vietnam continue to contribute to the country's rich tapestry of cultures and beliefs, embodying a spirit of resilience, adaptation, and mutual respect.